Welcome everyone. This is the Wild Broadcast, Words of Wisdom. Yes. And we welcome you today to our first broadcast. And um, we're going to introduce ourselves, who we are, why we're doing this, and who we're trying to reach. So, E? Uh, my name is Ernest Bell. And my name is Walter Howard. And uh, we come here as WOW. And WOW means word of wisdom. Words of wisdom. What you mean, and words of wisdom? Words of wisdom, um, get wisdom, get understanding, and um, that's what it's all about. Like Proverbs 4, 7, wisdom yes. is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom, and all that I get and get understanding. Yes, sir. We want you to get understanding. We're just two crusaders for Christ. We're two brothers who came together a long time ago. God bonded us a long time ago in our friendship. We've known each other for a long time. Uh, we uh, grew together professionally in our personal lives and through our ministries, and God has brought us together to do this. And I say, I'm Walt, the brother Walt, this is E. Uh, got a lot of years of experience, uh, years of experience of successes, failures, battles, attacks, personal attacks, uh, victories, but we're here today, just wanna to share with you. He's got a lot of experiences, he, got, he has lived the Job experience many ways, we'll share a lot of these as we do more of these broadcasts. But the day we come together, we're just two crusaders for Christ, we love the Lord, and just trying to talk to our family, so. Yeah, and we just want to talk to um, people about their um, personal life and their personal experiences in Christ. So, um, we want to reach out to the believer and the unbeliever. Yes, yes, amen, yes, um, yes. The yes. preacher and the deacon. Yes. The trustee and the auxiliaries. Yes. And the choirs. Yes. About prayer, fasting, uh, putting on your whole arm, yes. um, your walk, yes. your talk, how you re how your relationship with other people yes. uh, is you showing Christ in your in in your walk on a day to day basis at mm -hmm. your job at mm -hmm. your church mm -hmm. with your family with your friends, you know those are kind of things we want to look at and deal with by the word of God. Yeah, so, we're, we're a little different. We radical, as he says, we're yeah. radical. And all we want to know, do you want to grow? More God, right? Uh, uh, being ashamed and not, uh, be, be not ashamed and, and um, naked. And naked. Naked and unashamed. That's basically it. saying that. Um, you know, we got to take my clothes off? You no, get, you got to be truthful. Oh, truthful. Oh, you mean yeah. naked and ashamed? What you mean? So where that come from, naked and ashamed? Where does that come from? That in the Bible? No, nah, that's something that radical came up, but it's in the Bible, naked and not ashamed. Oh, it is. Yeah, if oh, you Genesis, read Genesis, Genesis, the first book of Genesis. Oh, okay. Then. Well, I mean, it's not the first book of Genesis. It's where the first what two, Chapter, three, three, three chapters yeah. of Genesis. You read it. It talks about um, Adam and Eve being uh, naked, naked and not ashamed, and not ashamed. But did something happen in the garden at that time? Something happened where they became shamed and naked. Okay, then. <laughs> I'm going to read the scripture for you. This is what this whole thing is about. We want to be radical. We're un unorthodox. Uh, we want to bring real to you. Uh, we want to uh, pull out the mask. And uh, this is going to be naked, unashamed conversations. But in Genesis 2.25, it says this. And they were both naked, and the man and his wife were not ashamed. Then Genesis 3.7 says, And the eyes of them both were open after they had sinned, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. And then Genesis 9, 3, 9 says, and the, Lord gave, called, and the Lord God called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And 10 verse says, And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid because I was naked and hid myself. So what is, how is that represent the believers right now? I mean, I know we're supposed to get back to the original state of man, right? Man and woman. Mm -hmm. Being naked and unashamed, right? Yeah, naked and unashamed in their relationships. In the relationship with, mm -hmm. with, with the Lord and with as each other's believers, right? Yes. That um, if you're married, naked and not ashamed, meaning that you can't hide um, money, <laughs> you can't, you can't, <laughs> you can't come in there lying about what you where you've been, what you've done. You need to be honest, right? You totally to honest. Be totally honest and and transparent. Totally, um, transparent. Yeah, very okay, transparent. Okay. Then. And truthful. You know, <clears throat> your word is your bond. Yes. Yes. You know, but what what happened is that. Um, we allow ourselves to get entangled with a lot of other sins. Things of the world and stuff, Thanks. sins of flesh stuff. Mm -hmm. 
And so that's what we come into. We know we've all been. I mean, you don't know everything. Yeah, and that's the purpose of mm -hmm. wow. wow, Word of Wisdom, yeah. is that um, we want to deal with some topics that uh, I don't think that really be deal dealing with. with. I agree. Like yeah. um, demons. I agree. I agree. Uh, uh, demon can be a lying spirit. Demon can be you, you being rejected. A demon can be that's holding you back is um, a demon of unforgiveness, not even forgiving yourself. You know, where you can't prosper into your marriage, or you can't prosper into friendship. You don't know how to love because you've been rejected so much. All you want, you don't want nobody to get close yeah. enough to hurt your heart. Could so that's what, that's our purpose in why. You know, know? And it could yeah. be this would be a lot of reasons why you're not walking the things of God, right? Disobedience, mm -hmm. spiritual evil, spiritual fluids on your life, mm -hmm. right? Okay, and so that's why we come to you. We don't know everything, and we gonna say some stuff that we don't agree on. We don't mm -hmm. agree on everything, but the Bible says it's mm -hmm. not important for you to agree mm -hmm. on everything it's because we don't agree on. But <laughs> the truth is. Walking in the unity of the spirit. Yes. The Bible said the world will know them not because they agree on every scripture, but because they're love one for another. Yeah, and we just, need to continue in that love. That's right, number God. So if you out there, you disagree with us, you got people in your life you're disagreeing with, just realize, just put it on the shelf. We all know important prophesying parts, so we don't know the whole picture. We think we do sometimes with our interpretations, but it's main thing is to know more of God. The more you spend time with God, first relationship, then the more you understand. And we, one day we're going to twinkle that, right? We're going to know everything at that point, right? Yeah. We want, you to, we want you to get off the throne and let God be on the throne. Amen. 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 So the purpose of vow is really going to be to reach out to people, right? Yeah. Just to reach out to the lost, the unsaved, the saved. Hey, um, like we said, pastor, teachers. Usher. Hey, usher. Sitting on the back pew. Yeah. On your way one foot out the door. Of course, of course. Because see, we need we need the power of God to get back into the church and Amen. be able to move. Amen. And uh, the pastors, everybody needs some help. Yeah. And and when we get ourselves right, like when we get ourselves right in our marriage, the 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 church will flow. Yeah. And we will see the the the, the mighty things of God. Yeah. Yeah. You know. And that's basically what Wow is all about: getting back to the basics. Back to the basics, we got away so far from it, and we talked about this stuff for years. And we said, Why don't we just go ahead? We got a lot of years' experience. There's people out there just like us, you're sharing things with each other, and we hope we can connect with you. But you're not by yourself, whoever you are, there's always more God. I don't care if you're a bishop, I don't care if you're sitting on the back pew, there's always opportunity to grow in God. And that's what we want to do. We're still growing, we want to keep you moving and keep ourselves moving, we yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> we move you, you move us. <laughs> we all move. We all get closer to the Lord. Yeah. Because he is coming back. So just want to introduce you who we are. I'm Brother Walt, and this is Ernest, Ernest Bell. Bell. And uh, we're going to be coming to some, some broadcasts, probably a little on the edge. Probably we're going to be profound, but we'll stay in bounds, okay? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. And just remember that God is the same today and forevermore. Amen. So thank you for this broadcast. We appreciate you uh, tuning in. And just stay tuned for other ones that's, that's, that's to come. Thank you so much. We love you. Love you. Oh, unbelievers, we would like to um, share. And um, if we touch your hearts today uh, in any way, uh, any form, with wow, word of wisdom, um, we would like to... Um, invite you into the body of Christ Amen. all believers um, the word says in Romans 10 9 and 10 and 11 it says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God has risen him from the dead mm -hmm. thou shall be saved thou shall be saved not maybe, not possibility, thou but shall. thou shall be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto, unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. For the scripture said, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. So as, as I read that and you repeated it, God have entered your heart. The Holy Ghost have entered you. And he said that also that um, how can they believe unless they have a preacher? Right now we're preaching it to you. Mm -hmm. That um, the doors is open. Just open the door and let Christ come in and, and, and abide in you. Yeah. Let's lead you into it. Just repeat me after this prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. 
I confess that I'm a sinner and I need a savior. Yes, sir. I ask you to forgive me of my sins. Yeah. All those known and unknown. Mm -hmm. And I confess my mouth that Jesus is Lord. Yes, sir. And I believe he was raised from the dead for the redemption of my sin. And I thank you, Lord, for saving me. And I believe by faith. And I receive what you said. And I thank you for receiving me into the kingdom of God. If you repeat that prayer, you're born again. Hit the button. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. They, they rejoicing hey, in hell. Hey. The angels are rejoicing. Hey. <laughs> <laughs>